Hi, this is Jason from Horrific Nightmares, and welcome to another thrilling episode of Firmly Feud. This is where we take the Adams Family and pit them against the Monsters, episode by episode, to see which family did it better. Now we are on round two, that means episode two, and let me remind you of our score thus far. Okay, our first episode is going to be from The Addams Family, Episode 2 of Season 1. This is called Morticia and the Psychiatrist. Now, this had an air date of 9-25-1964, and it has a very clever plot. Pugsley is not acting like what The Addams feel is a normal little boy. He is starting to get into things that other little boys get into, like scouts, baseball, tennis, stuff like that. He's neglecting his octopus, and not really enjoying the stuff he used to enjoy, blowing up trains with his father, stuff like that. So they're afraid of what he's going to turn out to be. So... Morticia and Gomez go out to hire a psychiatrist to see how they can fix Pugsley. Well, he tells them to kind of give in to what he's into, and in a few days, they'll have their boy back. That's not exactly the case, and they call Mr. Black, which is the psychiatrist, in order to get further help. Dr. Black comes over and, <laughs> well, I don't want to spoil the end, but he's in for a interesting time as he talks with Pugsley at his own home. All right, now we're going to get into, I actually love that Adams Family episode. I thought it was a lot of fun. As Joe said, it's, it's written very clever. And I like the fact of how the Adams family thinks what is normal is not exactly normal. And it's kind of like everything is like a play on words. Like uh, Morticia, Gomez tells Morticia that he's out um, hitting a bat or playing with a bat. And she thinks it's actual an actual vampire bat. But it's actually baseball. <laughs> so yeah, it's a lot of fun. Very cleverly written. All right. Our next is The Monsters, episode two, which is entitled My Fair Monster. Now, this came out October 1st, 1964, and this actually starts off kind of where the last one sort of left off, not with the same guy, but Marilyn brings a, a guy home, Herman answers the door, and he proceeds to run away in comical fashion and gets away. And Marilyn is scared that she chased another one away. So Herman and his wife start talking about Marilyn being there and how she's not like them. And if she doesn't find a man and get married, they may be saddled with her for the rest of their life. So... They talk to Grandpa, and he mixes up a potion, a love potion, which is supposed to be put in Marilyn's oatmeal. Well, Marilyn left and didn't eat her oatmeal, so it gets put back in the pot, and unknowingly, the family eats the oatmeal, which makes their neighbors fall in love with them, and so on and so forth, and hilarity ensues from there. Both episodes were fantastic, but I, I actually have to give the edge this time to the Adams Family. And it was mainly because of the writing and the fact that it's just a it's just a good time. Watching the psychiatrist with Pugsley, it was just a lot of fun. And seeing what the psychiatrist was in for when he actually got Pugsley on his own turf. Um, yeah, basically due to the writing. I like both episodes. I thought they were great. 
but I'm going to give the Adams Family two points and the Monsters one point. Please check out Joe's video so you can see how he scored this week. And make sure to tune in next week for your updated score. And if you like what you see in here, hit that like button and subscribe. And until next time, peace.